Hey, good day, Wasila Lake Church. Uh, this is uh, Pastor Mano Jingle, and everyone who is watching everywhere um, around the world in, uh, in, in America and everywhere, I'm so glad that uh, we can be together today. Uh, today's Saturday, uh, just um, tomorrow is Sunday. We're looking forward to uh, Sunday morning worship tomorrow at 11 o'clock, but I just wanted to kind of make this video and give this message because um, it is on my heart not too long ago we celebrated thanksgiving and uh, i cannot believe that uh, it is already december we are in a first week of december and what that means is uh, i'm really excited about that is uh, that means the christmas is in the air and um, christmas uh, and hope that uh, we are really looking forward to celebration of Christmas because it's very important that um, we prepare our hearts. Uh, we are in the Advent season and what that means is we are waiting and we are preparing our hearts um, uh, and uh, for the celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ, uh, which happened 2000 years ago. And, uh, uh, you know, the week is almost over, but uh, the message which is on my heart, I just wanted to share with you today you know um as as we think about christmas the birth of uh, jesus i'm thinking about preparing my heart as well and i just want to encourage you to prepare your heart to worship the king uh, who is has come and born uh, in this world for you and me and for the whole world and as i was t thinking about christmas um and reading few few uh, news um, you know headlines in the newspapers and so on and so forth i came across a news uh, headline which kind of read like this and it says america is headed towards dark black christmas wrapped in a deep dark winter dark christmas wrapped in a deep dark winter it is a very gloomy depressing sad description of the um, of the season of uh, what we are heading towards the Christmas and not a very uplifting description uh, of the season and it just kind of uh, worries me about this whole tone of darkness and depression and oppression that is being described and this article really new story really describes about the pandemic that is going on and and because of that how we are going to have a dark christmas and you know wrapped in a very dark winter and so on and so forth it's a very uh, you know gloomy picture and as i think about that uh, i ask the question do we really need to have a christmas that is dark gloomy and uh, depressing oppressing is that what it is all about can we change the headline and we're going to kind of a little bit talk about that but friends as i think about a dark depressing crisis and oppression um, that this new story talks about my mind kind of goes to the first christmas and i wonder what the life was like during the first christmas and uh, uh, if was life fun was the first Christmas where Jesus was born uh, was everything great um, you know everything was happy and, and 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 the families were just kind of lifted up their spirit was just kind of amazing uh, as we look into peek into the history uh, 2,000 years ago around the uh, around the time when Jesus was born it was not life was not fun there was a lot of crisis going on uh, in that part of the world. People were oppressed. There were crises. There were lots of fights. There were lots of conflicts going on. There were political unrest. There was social unrest. And people were burdened with a lot of things. And common people were not having fun life. And it was the dark, dark time when Jesus was around the time when Jesus was born. You know, friends, the crisis of 4 BC offered a draft script kind of a thing for the horrors to come into that century. And, you know, so what that means is uh, the, the life was filled with horror and oppression and depression. And in the midst of that, Jesus is born in 2000 years ago. 
And uh, friends, as we think about the situation today and 2000 years ago, uh, I think the situation is same. There is a darkness, uh, there is oppression, there is a depression, uh, the, the life is not as fun as we want it to be. And, um, you know, it's it's gloomy picture. And the headlines of newspapers and the news headlines describe a gloomy, oppressing and depressing situation. And in the midst of that, Jesus is still born 2,000 years ago. And as we are looking forward for the celebration of Jesus's birth. You know, this is what the word of God says in John chapter eight, verse 12. And he says this, it says this, I am the light of the world. Jesus says this, he who follows me shall not walk in the darkness. And Jesus is proclaiming that he is the light of the world. And whoever follows him will not walk in the darkness will not walk in the oppression, depression, in a gloomy situation. And, and we have a hope in Jesus Christ because he has brought light into this world. And you know, the, the night when he was born, you know, the light was brought into this world. Jesus brought the light. And many who sat in the darkness 2,000 years ago experienced that light. And we can go on and on about that. And God brought the light into this world, the world which was filled with darkness. You know, friends, the night is true and, and, and today as well that it is dark night probably, the dark environment. And it is true as well today that there is a darkness. And it is also true the light is real because of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus is born, that light is, uh, that light is still real. We have a real hope in Jesus Christ because Jesus is born. Jesus is born and he brought light into the darkness. He brings light into our personal life and our personal darkness and also in this world because Jesus is born for this world and he has brought the light. Friends, prepare your hearts this for the celebration of Christmas because the birth of Christ is very important. I want to encourage you today that we have a real hope in Jesus Christ, that hope that we cannot find anywhere. You know, friends, we can literally change the headlines into our family, in our family, in our community, in America, and uh, the, the headlines can be changed that the Christmas is bright, filled with light. It is uh, filled with hope, and we are heading into the Christmas celebration. The America is heading into the Christmas celebration, which is filled with hope, which is filled with light. Our family is heading into Christmas season, which is filled with hope and light because of the birth of Jesus Christ. Our community is heading into the celebration of Christmas because of the birth of Jesus Christ. And that makes us filled with light and hope and uh, that hope that we cannot find anywhere. So I want to challenge you today that don't give up celebrating Christmas. In this situation, when the world is saying everything is dark, just have faith in God follow him let him make the changes in your life surrender to him and he will bring the light and hope into your life that is, that no one can bring god bless you and tomorrow join together whether in person or online on youtube called wasila like church of the nazarene or facebook and we will worship together our king who is born